SIEC championships in Rock Hill, South Carolina, and I know them other tournaments get more pub, but the SIEC was out here rocking the hill on championship Saturday night. <laughs> And the men's and women's championship game were looking like that Spider-Man meme. Because it was Benedict versus Savannah State on both sides of the bracket. And the atmosphere in Rock Hill was not to be slept on. And it was ladies first. Savannah State, the top seed in the SIAC East, came in with only one conference loss on the year. But that loss was to the team warming up on the other side of the court the reigning SIAC champion Tigers of Benedict College. And this won't no little cat fight. Savannah State Benedict College scrapped it out like Tigers in the jungle. But neither team scared to shed a little bloodshed in pursuit of a chip. Benedict got the gate on fire with a 7-0 run. But Savannah State never let it get worse than that. The Georgia Tigers rallied their way back to what they won late in the first quarter. Benedict gets on their hustle and pushes the lead back to six in the second quarter. But Savannah State is coming for that and more, closing out the half outscoring Benedict 22 to 6. And we went into the half with Savannah State up 10, 36, 26. And then we came out the break, cook. Both teams straight in buckets early before Benedict closes the gap in the third. A big three from Keandra Archie. Then it's Cameron Boston cutting the lead down to four. But Savannah State closed out the corner tough. The Tequila Austin Trey from the corner had Amari Heard turning up the bench. Then Amari turns up the arena with a bucket. And she left it up there to let you know who balling and it's big blue up seven going into the fourth quarter and go ahead and buckle up, cause it's about to go down and rock here. Nyla Allen, the steep, the late, and Savannah State is up 10 in the fourth. But Ayana Bay and Keandre Archie, then they just gonna put BC on their back. And Keandre Archie ties it up at 63 with three minutes left to play. and the energy was on fire down the stretch for the SIC Ladies Champions. <laughs> Ayana Bay, the big dog bucket gives BC a 65-63 lead, and the Tigers won't about to give it back. Benedict College goes back to back in South Pac by winning the 2022 SIC Championship.
the Tigers show that no matter what happens in the regular season, you got to see the ladies of Benedict College if you want to cut down the nets in the SIC. Then it was time for the fellas, and we had a battle of the two and three seeds in the SIC, and both these squads of Tigers look ripped to go in pregame. But once that thing got tipped off, Savannah State showed that they was ready ready and got elbow deep in their blowout bag off the rip. Avery joined, he gets the steal and flips it into a bucket and a foul. Then he hits a three and turns up with his kinfolk on the sideline. And Savannah State was out there piling it on like a paper plate at a family cookout. Joyner went in the one-on-one -on -one matchup with the contested fadeaway, then he hustles back to stop the easy bucket. And that was really the difference in the first half. Hustle, Savannah State had it, and Benedict was just trying to keep up. AJ Plain got him with the low behind the back and finishes it off with a float. Then we back down court. Plain posts it free. Trey Deloach gets the lay, and somebody better call timeout because Savannah State is up 21 points with seven minutes left in the first half. And Avery Joyner said he won't done yet. Here he puts up a heat check and it's confirmed, that boy hot. And by the time Malachi McCoy gives Benedict their first highlight of the half, BC is down 31 points, going into halftime. And I can't even lie, it felt like a wrap. But Benedict wasn't about to go out set. They just put their heads down and started chipping away at that deficit. Taj Green. Letting the whole gym know that it ain't no quit in BC. And he hits a couple of big buckets that brings the Savannah State lead back into the team. And they weren't afraid to get physical out there either. Avery Joyner feeling away about some contact. Things get a little hot and Joyner and his folk on the sideline both get ejected. And it was feeling like Benedict College might have the juice, but they were still down 14 with 12 minutes left to play. But they really just couldn't get the couple stops they needed to really close the gap in the backside of the second half. And Savannah State shocks the SIEC with a four game run to win their first championship since 1981. And it was so much love in Rock Hill, South Carolina, that they even let Buddy, who got ejected from the crowd, come back and have a moment with his kinfolk. And after an SIAC championship Saturday for the ages, the only thing left to do was take home a piece of that net.